Byron Bay, the place to cheer up, slow down and rock out at Blues Fest. What's up, Blues Bay? Can we play some new new for y'all tonight? But a decision to include controversial Sydney band Sticky Fingers in this year's lineup is spoiling the party. It is not up to anyone to decide that we must accept someone's rehabilitation because they were open about being a shit person. What I don't support is toxic masculinity being given a platform and celebrated. Overnight, rapper Sampa the Great ditched the festival in protest just days after major Aussie act King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard pulled the pin, saying, We stand against misogyny, racism, transphobia and violence. You need to be willing to make sacrifices to stand up for your values. We're trying to stamp out misogyny and any kind of racist or homophobic behaviour. So for Blues Fest to include Sticky Fingers on their lineup, in the eyes of the music industry, this is seen as a step backwards. And I think Blues Fest have to make some important decisions pretty quickly. So what's the deal with Sticky Fingers? Well, this is the lead singer, Dylan Frost. In 2016, it's alleged Frost hurled racist insults at a gig. Then Indigenous singer Thelma Plum accused him of physically threatening her. Frost apologised, announcing he suffers from bipolar and schizophrenia. My alcoholic behaviour in the past has intimidated or made people feel unsafe around me, and I am truly sorry for this. But that wasn't the end of the bad behaviour. Just months after that 2018 apology, Frost was booted from a Sydney pub after an alleged altercation with a transgender woman. He also punched the microphone at his Melbourne gig last year, storming off mid-song. They did take a hiatus and apparently it took some time out to do some rehabilitation. But there have been stories of in-band fighting, there's been gigs cut short. Perhaps Sticky Fingers haven't done enough. Blues Fest organisers, though, are refusing to back down, standing by their decision to give Sticky Fingers a second chance. Director Peter Noble saying in a statement, I believe an attempt to victimise this man and his band in the circumstances is cruel and unforgiving. I was and remain proud to give the band a chance at rehabilitation. We have to ask the question, at what point do we draw the line and forgive and forget? In the eyes of their detractors, they haven't done enough and therein lies the problem. So is this yet another example of the music industry turning a blind eye to bad behaviour, or does Sticky Fingers deserve a shot at redemption? This is a really hard one, and I haven't quite made up my mind, but I keep thinking about the entertainment in industry, like, say, what happened in Hollywood with Harvey Weinstein, and we look back at actors who worked with him for so many years mm. and go, how could you? How, why didn't you refuse to be in, in his films? And I suppose if you are in an industry like this, what other power do you have other than to boycott and to step back if you feel like the music industry itself isn't taking this seriously enough? But the, the question at the end of that package is the question, isn't it? What, what would you need to see to be able to say that they're welcome back now? And what, what haven't they done? Mm. But I don't now, think those conversations be... have been had yet no. to even decide right. what that behaviour looks and it, like. It might well be that amongst musicians away from our eyes, they are having that conversation and they know and there's all kinds of backstories we know nothing about. I don't know. Mm. But that is a really interesting question to answer, right? Yeah. Because all the stuff that we brought in that package, and that's just what's on the public record, that's a, long, that's a while ago. So... How but then I suppose the question is, what, what were the repercussions? If we know that that is a standard of well, behaviour... They've barely been seen for... They, didn't they pull out of a thing in 2018 over a similar sort of thing? Like, there's been a, a lot of backlash against mm. them. So the question is, at what point and under yeah. what conditions can they come back? I think that would be an interesting way to start the conversation and then work back from there and see... No, I agree with you. Anyway, but I'm not part of the music industry, so no one cares what I think. <laughs> um, I, I would, with the guitar. I would quite like to become part of the music industry. <laughs>